Kyle Nusky. Where is he? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a long time, man. I reckon it would have been... What's a long time? A few years, five years, maybe at a hip-hop gig here and there. Yep. Apple bar days, maybe. I saw you. You probably didn't see me. But <laughs> like, yeah. So what's been happening, man? I mean, first of all, you're a, you know, you're a skateboarder. You were pro for a minute. Yep. Um, I remember Henley, Henley Beach Skate Park. I used to see you skate there. This would have been like late 90s maybe. Mm -hmm. And that would have been just before I think I started hearing, you know, all the stuff that was happening overseas or you doing competitions overseas. Yep. But I guess for the audience, um, you know, maybe not familiar with your, with your come up. I mean, first of all, when and how did you get into skating? You know, who were some of your influences? And then how did that transition into becoming pro? I mean, I like... I was just always into sports and, you know, like just, you know, just being out and about and doing stuff. And when I, yeah, skating just, just kind of came about just friends and, you know, it was, yeah, it was just one of those things that you stand on, you know, and just take it from there. Like I just, yeah, I like, from the day I stood on a skateboard, I pretty much like knew that it was like, this was, thing. this was going to be like something I wanted to do. Like, I don't know. You just, yeah. You just know. It's an experience. Like, yeah, you just like, I don't know. It's it's a release. It's everything, man. It's, yeah, it, there's nobody telling you what to do. There's nobody like, you know, like, yeah, nobody judging you really. You just, every day's different and, yeah, yeah. It's, so how old were you when you first picked up a board? I mean, I mean, there was always like skateboards and like random shitty like, you know, Target and all those sort of boards yeah. laying around that you got on. But to me, that wasn't skating, yeah. you know, like that, that was fucking, that's harder to skate on one of those things than you can imagine, like you know, like, yeah, they, like they don't turn, they, you know, roll. So yeah. it's like, used to roll and just like bonk off some like little crack in the thing and <laughs> thought that was an ollie, you know, like we didn't even know how to do a nollie or like you could roll nollie, like sweet. Mm. We just, first time I saw a video like four on one, it was like, what the heck, dude, like, did a trick the other way like you yeah. can stand that way like you know you didn't know like once you've started skating like how long after were you sort of thinking okay this is you know this is something that maybe i'd like to pursue or yeah yeah so basically yeah we didn't really like or i didn't try to pursue anything it was just like fun for me and and it kind of just probably you know it, you can't just stand on a skateboard and like do it straight away that's like mm. the thing with it and i guess like anything that's hard you know and you know like you can do on your own that's the, the stuff i'm into you know like the harder it is it's just the challenge like yeah you always got to push yourself so that's what i always found you know like and then the best part about it you know like and every day you skate you you don't you know you can hit a rock and fucking break your wrist you know like it's mm. you know like people do they stand on a skateboard and like eat shit the first time and they never get back on it but like not me like i mean that was the, like the risk factor yeah yeah i like that do you remember whatever the first the first competition that you did enter do you remember what it was first comp i reckon was it was like reese forbes and kenny hughes they did a demo in this church over by like just off sir donald bradman but like I can't remember that, you know, but like they had a comp in there and Daily Grind, like they set the whole thing up, but like I reckon that was the first one I went in. Yeah. Do you remember how old around about she would have been? Probably like 14, like 15 years old. I've probably been skating for like a year, you know? So, I mean, basics took me like three, four, like to six months, you know, like three months to do a kickflip, you know, like, but I mean, we didn't even know how to like do it. Mm. Like we didn't know anything. Were you nervous, like nervous as fuck on that first comp being that young? Yeah, for sure. But yeah, like. Do you remember how, like, what, did you place or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. That comp, uh, second. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And your first comp at 14, 15. I, I'd already been skating. Like, I've been skating for a year, but there'd been dudes that have been skating for like. Yeah. Ye like a few years already on top of that. So, you know, but like, like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't really about that. Like, mm. I mean, at, yeah, at that point you're just like keen to get out there, you know, but. I don't know. Like I said, to me, it was like the whole comp thing wasn't wasn't like, your forte. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I was just like about trying to like 
push myself as much as I can and and, and do things that I liked, you know, like rather yeah. than just like, yeah. Compete for the... Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.